Time to learn more about Zarvio, the digital farming company. We caught up with them recently at the Farm Progress Show. At Xarvio, we are improving crop production. Uh, for me, it is, it is not understandable why farmers today should blanket spray their full fields and, and not be more specific. So we are helping farmers here really to um, treat every field, every part of their field individually and increasing their ROI and also really doing something good for the environment. Now specifically, if you could tell me about the scouting app. Yeah, the scouting app is a really great application of image recognition technology and a simple to use uh, smartphone app. Uh, most of the uh, apps on the, in the marketplace today require the user to scroll through, store yep. or a library of images and, and do some comparison and then and make a decision on their own. This is an autonomous weed and disease identification app. So you simply take a picture, uh, give it a few seconds, and then you've got a positive identification of a weed or disease at very early growth stages. So you know sooner what the threats are to your field. And in addition, the scouting app uh, also saves your location and, and maps the location in the field so you can go back and visit that spot later and understand if the, if the threat is, sure. is increasing. And why would this want to help farmers? How is this going to help farmers? Well, it's going to help farmers because you know, they don't always have the experience uh, to identify these weeds at very early stages or diseases. So, And even for more experienced farmers or agronomists, they can scout more acres more efficiently, save the information. And how is this different from other apps? Uh, most other apps on the marketplace uh, rely on more of a, on an analog approach, a stored library of disease or weed images. So as you are standing there in person looking at a weed or disease, you have to scroll through and and, and look at a library of, 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 uh, of pictures and kind of decide which one's closest to what you're looking at. This is all automated in the scouting app. And this, you know, sounds a lot of innovation and technology into this, uh, you know, the artificial intelligence feature. You know, how, how does that play into the app? Yeah, the deep machine learning that's working on the back end is we take hundreds of, we have taken hundreds of thousands of images and fed into this software so that it can it can review all of these images and learn to really small detail to differentiate between these early stage uh, diseases and weeds. And then the more images that are fed into this machine learning software, the more accurate it gets, the more weeds it can identify. And what's the feedback been as you're, as you're talking with, with farmers about what, what they can do and how this can help them? Most are simply astounded. Yeah. It's just hard to believe it. it that on your smartphone you can have this kind of technology. It's just, it's, it's, it's really forward looking and it's, it's, you can't wait to get out and start using it. We have here a, a prototype of what a future uh, smart sprayer might look like. There is a camera uh, sensor located on the front of this boom and underneath it is, uh, it can detect what weeds or plants are growing underneath. So if I take a, a wheat plant, it recognizes that it's winter wheat and it doesn't activate the sprayer. I can then take a weed and you'll see it identifies as a weed and the spray nozzle will activate it as soon as I remove it, it turns the valve off to the sprayer. So the way this smart sprayer would work is that as a grower is going through the field, virtually every square foot of the field is being analyzed to whether uh, to determine whether there's a weed, the weeds are present, what type of weeds, uh, and then what appropriate application you should have a choice between herbicides and also foliar diseases. So this is a forward-looking application of image recognition technology that we hope to uh, bring to market in the next two to three years. So this is the, uh, kind of the AI in, in use and I gotta think it's gonna save time and money. Oh, absolutely. It's going to save time. It's going to make input products more valuable because growers are going to be able to target their application, get the same or better results with less product. Thanks for being a part of the Machinery Pete Spotlight video.